Welcome to another video on the recap of TV series called The Rain Season 1. A deadly virus spread by rainfall forces siblings Simone and Rasmus and their parents to seek refuge in a well-equipped underground bunker. The siblings' father, Dr. Frederick Anderson, is a scientist who works for Apollon, the company that crafted the bunkers. He leaves the siblings with their mother in the bunker, saying he'll be back. Before he leaves, he instructs Simone to protect Rasmus as he is the key of curing the virus. On hearing someone attempting to get inside the bunker, Simone opens the bunker door, assuming it is her father. Her mother, knowing that it is not Frederick and that their family will be infected if anyone else comes in, runs outside the bunker and tackles the stranger before he can enter. She is exposed to the virus and quickly dies, leaving Simone and Rasmus alone. Simone has flashbacks to her parents arguing about treating a sick Rasmus and some sort of virus. Six years pass. With the food supply dwelling, Rasmus wants to leave. Later, back at the bunker, the air control alarm goes off, signaling that oxygen is depleted. When Rasmus and Simone open the hatch to escape, they are confronted at gunpoint by other survivors who have covered the vents to force the siblings out. Now Simone shows the group's leader Martin a map of other bunkers and promises them food. She then destroys the map, telling them they need to keep her alive to find it. In a flashback, Martin is revealed to have a soldier task with holding the quarantine line at the onset of the virus. Unable to shoot a woman who is walking the highway holding an infant, Martin allows her to pass the checkpoint. He later finds his patrol dead, infected by the woman. In the present, the group encounter two men referred to as strangers, who are hunting survivors. Martin and Patrick, another member of Martin's group, kill the men. Finally, they arrive at the second bunker. Simone finds her father's phone in the bunker and learns via information she finds on the device that her father was likely travelled to Apollon headquarters in Sweden. Simone tells Martin that she and Rasmus are going to find their father. Simone and Rasmus venture into the city of Copenhagen as they travel towards Sweden, they are soon joined by Beatrice, Leah and Jean. Emotionally connected to Beatrice, Martin later follows along with a frustrated Patrick. Beatrice and Rasmus take shelter in an expensive house with Beatrice claiming that it is the house she was born in. Martin and Patrick take shelter inside a bus. Playing with a piece of tech he took off the dead stranger, the device activates revealing itself to be a map. Martin's group meets up after the storm but a scavenger follows them and takes Rasmus hostage. The scavenger threatens to slit Rasmus' throat if the group doesn't give them their food supply to him. In a flashback, Beatrice tells Martin about her family house, similar to the one she told to Rasmus, revealing that she was not being truthful. In the present, Martin shows Simone the map and they determine it is of the quarantine zone. Because the map shows a wall to the north, Martin concludes the spread of the virus was stopped. The wall he declares, is where the need to go. Rasmus, suffering from the stab wound he sustained earlier, is unable to walk. So Simone plans with the group to steal a car from one of the quarantine patrols run by the strangers. As Martin interrogates the captured strangers for information, Jean spots a snake tattoo on one of the men and recalls a memory that haunts him. He urges Martin to kill the men, and Patrick agrees. Martin seemingly does so, upsetting Simone. One day, a quarantine patrol arrives and a group of strangers confront the father of the family, instructing him to come with them. When the father refuses, he is killed by a man with a snake tattoo and the mother is taken away. In the present, the group has moved north and meets a doctor who operates on Rasmus' stab wound. After Simone reveals who their father is, the doctor tells them she, too, used to work for Apollon. The doctor lures Simone and Rasmus away from the rest of the group and to her own bunker, confessing that she blames Dr. Addison, the sibling's father, for the death of her children. The doctor attempts to inject Rasmus with a fatal poison. The strangers arrive and seeing the man with the snake tattoo, Jean shoots him in the head and then is captured by the rest of the strangers. The others flee to the bunker. Patrick goes in alone and shoots the doctor, declaring that this is how things will be done from now on. The group takes shelter as the rain falls during the night. Lost in the woods, the survivors stumble upon a mansion where residents invite them to stay for the night. Leah bonds with an older woman, Karen, who teaches her to let go of the guilt she carries. 
That night, all residents of the mansion are invited to the monthly ceremony. It is revealed that every month, a member is randomly chosen to be killed and eaten for the next month's ceremony, allowing them to be one with the group. Leah is chosen, but Karen takes her place and the survivors are allowed to leave. Because he will not let go of the past, the Apollon employee is forced out of the mansion against his will. When he catches up with the survivors, he tells them Apollon is responsible for ending the world before injecting himself with the virus and dying. Simone collects the syringe and the group walks into the night. Needing supplies, the group prepares to go to the next bunker, but Rasmus says he is too sick to move. Simone, Martin, Patrick and Leah go, planning to return with supplies. In fact, Rasmus faked his illness to spend more time with Beatrice. It rains and the other four are stuck in the bunker. They find videos of Apollon testing vaccines on random individuals. Depressed and alone, Patrick gets drunk, tries to kiss Simone. When she rejects him, they tussle and Patrick pushes her into the rain. Patrick tells Martin to shoot her, assuming she is infected. Martin hesitates and Leah stands between the gun and the Simone. Leah then backs up into the rain with Simone. When neither has a reaction, the group realizes that rain no longer causes infection. Back at the cabin, Beatrice and Rasmus enjoy the intimate day together, but a leaky roof causes Beatrice to be hit with a drop of water. Rasmus kisses her, assuming she is now infected, and they resign themselves to dying together. Patrick returns to Rasmus and Beatrice, only to find Rasmus in a state of panic carrying Beatrice's corpse. She had come into contact with the street, infected dog seen earlier near the cabin. Patrick panics and runs away, only to trip and be captured by the strangers. A band of armed strangers torture Patrick in order to extract information from him. Patrick discloses to the strangers the location of the bunker where Simone and Leah and Martin are, and about Rasmus not having been infected by Beatrice. Meanwhile, Rasmus arrives at the bunker carrying Beatrice's corpse. In the bunker's quarantine room, Rasmus begins to unravel, refusing to leave her side. Eventually, he does, but he contacts the strangers and allows himself to be captured. In a flashback, Sten, the head of Apollon, briefs the mission to the strangers and then reveals to them that they have been ingested the virus, which will be triggered if they leave the zone before finding an immune survivor. Like the survivors, the strangers are trapped. In the present, the leader of the strangers, Thomas feels Rasmus is the only one they are looking for. Beatrice, Simone, Martin and Leah capture a stranger. They try to trade himself for Rasmus. But a depressed Rasmus takes the syringe with the virus and injects himself. However, he does not die. Martin makes up with Patrick, setting him free. Everyone leaves for Apollon headquarters, hoping Rasmus is the cure. Arriving at Apollon headquarters, the group is separated. Rasmus and Simone meet their father while Martin, Patrick and Leah wait in the bunker. In the bunker, they are reunited with Jean, much to Leah's joy. Simone's father, Dr. Addison, tells her that they need to get away. To get the antidote, he tells her they will need to access Rasmus' brain and bone marrow. In the present, a doctor taking a swab from Rasmus is infected and dies. Dr. Addison realizes the virus has mutated and that Rasmus is now a carrier needing to be stopped to save the world. As the lab goes on lockdown, Leah, Jean, Martin and Patrick are reunited with Simone and Rasmus and plan to flee. However, Dr. Addison shoots Martin in an attempt to stop the group from leaving with Rasmus. Patrick arrives with a stolen vehicle and the group reaches the wall. The strangers block the path and Thomas tells them that the nutritional supplements Jean, Leah, Martin and Patrick were given were really the unactivated virus. The four cannot leave, except Simone with Rasmus. The group encourages her to go. However, Simone cannot bear leaving her friends behind, so the group back away from the wall and drive away. Thomas tells Simone that he'll be after her. In a final scene, Stan is making a sales pitch to select a group of investors, telling them the virus can be controlled and weaponized. And if you felt if the video was worth watching then please subscribe and press the bell icon. 